Well, my title tonight is Financial Innovation, Engine of Growth or a Source of Instability. The markets, as I think we're all aware, uh, have been pretty upset. And I want to try to put a longer run perspective on the upset in the markets that's come about because of this problem with uh, subprime mortgages. Distress in home mortgage markets, falling new home construction, and falling home prices in many areas, many parts of the country, have been a focal point in the outlook for the U.S. economy for at least the past nine months. When rising mortgage defaults led to broader financial turmoil last August, forecasters began to downgrade their estimates for U.S. economic growth in 2008. And some predicted an imminent recession. I said elsewhere that there is really nothing fundamentally new about the recent subprime mortgage debacle. History is full of examples of innovations that led to instability, at least initially, as financial market participants sought to exploit an innovation, failed to take adequate account of the risks involved. On the whole, however, economists are in agreement that financial innovation plays an important role in supporting economic growth. Financial innovation, like innovation in other industries, is part of the dynamic process of creative destruction that drives market economies forward and raises living standards. My message today is that we should not fear financial innovation, but that we must be careful, both in designing our public policies and in making our personal financial decisions, to understand the lessons of the recent subprime mortgage turmoil and of past innovations that led to instability.